Hi, this is Tilak. Welcome back to our past formula tutorial. Today we are going to see the second fast formula in the CWP application. The last time we seen how the eligibility fast formula works with CWP. Today we are going to see how the person selection fast formulas working with CWP. La, the, we have seen the person fast formula with TCS and uh, GSP. It is a very same, except that like, you know, the context and the input values. As I said in my beginning, the beginner's tutorial, if you understand that the types, the components of the fast formula, like you know, types, context, uh, input values, the output values, then the writing of our formula is immediate. Like, you know, once you understand these components, how it works with each other, then you can write any fast formula exception to a few fast formula like you know, payroll or extract, they, they don't return anything exception to that kind of fast formula. Most of the fast formula you can write very easily if you understand this combination. So I recommend you to understand that the components of fast formula and how it is working. Okay, come back to the person selection fast formula. The first of all, person selection fast formula support the same uh, type of the context. You know that we talked about all along in this tutorial season. Uh, the same like, you know, the only different now that we'll get into that input values. Okay, the input values also same input values. If you are looking at that eligibility pass formula, the only difference is the component ID. Other than that, everything works. They would like to you know that the same dates and the same plan ID period IDs and the same dates. The return value, when it, as per the return value goes, be that uh, person participate. Sorry, the, the heading is wrong. The, it is a person selection. Uh, the return value should be yes or yrn, and the person selection does not care what kind of a variable you use. It all it care about the values. And what we do today? Okay, we are not going to write anything differently today. We are going to write the use the same formula which is used in the eligibility as it is, and we are going to see how it works. The one good thing about the compensation, the entire compensation, whether it's a TCS, GSP, or a CWP, entire compensation, since it is used the same type of context, you can pick up any fast formula from anywhere and you can put it anywhere. The only thing you're supposed to use is that the different input values and that output output values. Other than that, it should work any formula anywhere. It fits anywhere as it is. So that's what we are going to see. Today, we are going to use that formula which is written for the eligibility. We are going to pick it up as it is and we are going to put it in person selection formula and see, we are going to see how it is going to work. Probably I may not need to change anything in this case. The only difference is the component ID. The component ID also we are putting a default into the formula. So that will work like a variable. It became like a variable. So it is. it has to work as it is, in my opinion. Let's see how it is working. Let's see. Like right, we'll get into like the formula. We start with the compensation menus. We go to the end. We go to the first formula. I'm going to select the first formula from uh, participation eligibility. That's the eligibility first formula, P. Uh, participation eligibility, no, not a start date. Participation rate eligibility. Okay, I'm going to take this one. I'm taking, copying the formula. And uh, coming back. Okay, creating a pass formula, CWB person selection FF. Okay, compensation person selection. Compensation person selection 
date I'm giving it 1-1-2021. One, one, I'm just copying it, pasting it. The only thing I'm going to change is that formula name. Okay. Here I'm changing that. Okay, and then I'm changing that. And returning, I'm changing it. Person selection. So I'm putting that. Okay. Save. Submit. Compile. I hope this will go in a, a one go. Okay, look like Campbell. It is a, it is I think the problem with the formula. Or like you know, we go back to that. Refresh it. Oh yeah, it is compiled. Okay, if I choose compensation person selection. Or what do I do here? Okay, C to V V. Person selection. Yeah, copy is that. This is compiled. Okay. Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to back out that the, uh, the plan we ran it last time. I'm going to run it with person selection first formula. Okay, run patch process. There's a back out. Back out is uh, C W V F F test. Okay. I'm going to do the full backout. Submit. Okay. Succeeded. But going back, starting the process. CWB test cycle is whatever available. Person selection formula, person selection FF. We are going to run it from only one person. Okay. Anyway. Because I don't want to run the process, click the process. Include is optional. And submit the process. Okay. 485.17385. One seven three four eight five. Okay. The difference between that uh, TCS and this is uh, that uh, the person selection process executed in a parent thread, not in the child process. Even the, the GSP also done the same thing. Only the TCS is executed in a child process, except that everywhere it is executed in the parent process. Is running. Start with the child. He succeeded and is coming back to the parent now. Okay, this is the evaluation the process is running now. Okay, it is completed. Okay, now I'm taking the, the lock. Okay. Okay, it is going zero EP test process, water, water, water. Okay, the entering into that self FF. Effective date is today's date, and the person ID assignment ID, person full name ID, component ID. You can see that coming as a minus one. 
The reason is there is no component ready passed in, so the default value is used. Then if you are looking at that, like, you know, person higher date is the same thing, so compared to you, the person is eligible, it is written in the eligible. It, you see the same behavior as the eligibility. Okay. So, like, you know, you can choose either eligibility or it is, it is, it is all the same. Okay, the eligibility is executed in, a, uh, I think, multi-thread and the person selection executed in the, be the beginning. The only difference probably you may get a different uh, context, a little more context, you'll get it. Uh, like, like, for example, plan ID, period ID, these are things you get it as a context, okay. No, plan ID does not get context, is, con is, is then put, probably you, what you get, there may be a little, little more one or two, like if you compare that the context from the eligibility and the, the person selection, you know that there are few contexts different, other than that, the, the behavior is all the same. Okay, and I'll I'll give the link to that my that the previous formula. I'm not going to give a the new set of formula because the formula is the same. The only thing I changed is the name of the formula. So I'll give the link to that the old formula. That is, I put it for the eligibility. I give the link. Otherwise, it's the same. Okay, we are, this is what for uh, person selection. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or queries, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you next time with another fast formula. Okay, bye. Thank you.